Evening folks and welcome to this demonstration of my Nixie tube clock. Now Nixie tubes, which are these glass tubes here, are a very early type of uh, digital display introduced in 1955 by the Burroughs Corporation and the original uh, code name for these was Numerical Indicator Experimental 1 and Nix1 became Nixie and was in fact trademarked. And they didn't last that long, they were displaced by LED and later on LCD displays, um, although they did continue to make them in the Eastern Bloc until the 90s, so there's quite a lot of them around still, um, a lot of them from the Eastern Bloc, and they're, they're, they're beloved of uh, collectors and builders uh, because of their very characteristic look and feel, and uh, it's a bit like, the way I see it, it's a bit like um, having a display back on a mechanical watch having the electronics visible within this nice clear glass envelope um, allows you to see the electronics in action. It kind of demystifies the technology a little bit. So Nixie tubes are a bit like neon signs in the way that they work and they use an effect known as glow discharge where glowing plasma is formed by the passage of electric current through a low pressure gas. So these tubes actually contain neon gas and a little bit of mercury is added um, which lengthens the lifetime of the tubes and it also adds a sort of blue or purple tinge to the colour. Although you can't really see it very well on this picture, it is there. Um, so the tube has a single uh, anode which is the shape of a, a mesh around the outside and then you've got these 10 cathodes in the shape of the various different numbers to be indicated. And by powering up each of those different cathodes you get a different number displayed. So it's different from a, a vacuum fluorescent display where electrons jump across a vacuum and strike a phosphor coating causing it to illuminate and obviously with different phosphor coatings you can get different colours as well. Um, and it's also different from LEDs where the, the electroluminescence is provided by a radiative recombination of electrons and holes in a semiconductor. So yes, uh, like neon technology basically. Um, so this particular clock um, is made by a chap called Stephen Ward and uh, I think he's based in South Africa. I love the wooden plinth and the, the piano black surround and as well as displaying the time there's an awful lot of settings that you can make on this clock to make it behave differently so I'll just show you it does it's showing the time currently in 24 hour mode if I press this button here it's showing the date so that's the month the day and the year if I press that again we're back to the time and then if you press this button it's showing the tube lifetime counter so they don't last forever and it gives you an idea of their lifetime and while that's displaying you can press this other button and you enter the setting modes so this number here this 01 that, re that represents which setting number it is um, so setting number one is the hour format and it's currently set as you can see there to 24 hour I could change it to 12 hour but I tend to prefer a 24 hour format. Setting number two is whether or not there's leading zeros. Um, so I think that's set to no leading zeros at the moment. Yeah, so that, that's leading zeros or no leading zeros. Um, setting number three is the col column separator mode. So these bulbs here are the column separators and um, there's various different settings you can have them either off completely on all the time uh, flashing at one hertz which I've got, got it set to at the moment or they can show an AM PM um, so they can they glow when it's PM and the next setting that we've got is the auto rotate date and what this allows you to do is from between every minute between 50 and 55 seconds it will display the date instead of the time and it's a way of ensuring that all of the digits are used properly in the tubes um, so they don't wear out. The next setting is just allows you to reset the tube's lifetime counter so if you've replaced the tubes you can reset that. Um, the next load of settings from uh, 6, 7, 8 and 9 are all about it um, the time that it turns on and off so it can although it keeps track of the time the whole time um, the actual tubes can turn off at night, so if you're not going to be watching it at night, um, you can get it to turn off at 11 or whenever and come on again in the morning. So it just uh, helps prevent, 
prolong the life of the tubes. Setting number 10 is the cross fading setting. So um, the tubes, although you can't see it with this or even with the naked eye, they actually um, flash very rapidly and um, when it changes from one number to the next uh, this setting allows you to sort of keep both numbers lit for a certain amount of time and um, I've got it set in the middle of between 0 and 25 if you set it to 0 they just change immediately and if you set it to 25 you get a long drawn out change over between them and setting number 11 is the tube's refresh rate um, so it's a it's, there's a slow medium and fast setting and it's just in case the refresh rate um, corresponds to its internal um, resonant frequency and it causes it to buzz you can set it to a different rate stop it buzzing and that's it really that, those are all the, the various different settings you can make so a very versatile clock and uh, I love the glow of it and, and I love the way the uh, you can see the numbers move backwards and forwards you've got within the tube you've got the the 10 different numerals and they're all at different spacings um, so yeah that's an explanation of what Nixie tubes are and the function of my clock I hope you've enjoyed this one cheerio